My mom keeps telling me she said God put me on that road, but I, I don't know. She was screaming pretty just, just it just didn't sound good. And it just kind of dropped my throat in my stomach just thinking about it and like uh, what, it, what I was about to see when I came up on her. And I started walking down the ditch to, towards her. Didn't really see anything at first, but then I asked her, I said, uh, how are you? Is there, did you, did you hurt anywhere? Are you hurt anywhere or is there anything wrong? And she said, my arm severed and I looked down at her left arm. Just asked, I said, does anyone have a belt? Um, so one of the guys was, said he did, so he gave me his belt. When I was on my stomach and I was talking to her, because I was reaching underneath the uh, driver's side window, I asked her, I, I said, uh, you just gotta trust me. It's gonna hurt what I'm about to do, but it's gonna help you. And uh, I uh, put a belt around her arm, the belt that I was given, and I uh, tightened it around her arm, just held it there, and I just kept telling her, I kept just reassuring her, I said, um, people are on their way, don't worry, because she kept telling me she was scared, and I said, I'm going to stay here with you until someone comes. I was like, I'm not leaving you. I'm going to be here the whole time. Just do as much as you can. I mean, that's what a lot of people did there. I mean, there's people on the side of the road waving people down. I mean, it doesn't take any training or any, any knowledge of anything to know that you need to help someone. Um, so, I mean, those people that got out on the road and stopped traffic to try and hopefully find someone that did know what they were doing, I mean, that's stepping up to the plate. That's doing your part. So that would, that would be my thing is just do whatever you can. Try and be a good Samaritan. Try and help people.